Hello guys, welcome back to Mathematics. Today we are going to learn about equivalent fractions. How could we identify them and how could we, could we find them? Then let's start with this, the, like the typical example that you are going to start to learn. So let's see the representation of these two fractions. We have one whole divided into parts and we are taking one of those parts. And in the other side, we have two fourths. So the, the whole is divided in four parts and we're taking two of them. One and two of them. They represent the same amount, but using different numbers. That's what the equivalent fraction means. Fractions that they represent the same amount, the same quantity, but they are using different numbers. But then how do we go from one half to two fourths or from two fourths to one half? We could do a, doing multiplication or division. Important thing, we should multiply or divide both numbers, top and bottom, by the same number. So for example, if we start in the smallest one, one half, and we, we want to get the two fourths, we are going to multiply by the same number, top and bottom. So from one to get the two and from two to get the four, we need to multiply by two. Then we are going to get what? one times two is two, two times two is four. That's how we get that one half is equals to two fourths. Of course, we can decide what number we multiply here. It could be multiplied by any number. The important thing is it has to be the same top and bottom. And let's check if we start from two fourths and we want to get an equivalent fraction, but with the smaller numbers, then we should do a division. In this case, we would divide by two. Then we are going to get two divided by two is one and four divided by two is two. We got an equivalent fraction with the smaller numbers. Actually, guys, when we use division, we can also say that we are simplifying the fraction. That's why we are looking for a fraction that has a, the same amount, it's equivalent, but is expressed with smaller numbers. This is the simplest form, simplest form. Sometimes you ask me if we can also add or subtract to get an equivalent fraction, like in these examples. And the answer is, oh my gosh, no, no, you'd never do that. Okay, guys, now this is the practice time. Mm, remember, you need to figure out first what operation you are going to do, multiply or divide. In this case, we are going to multiply because the number um, of the result is bigger. So we are going to do three times two in order to get the six. And since we multiply by two, the bottom, we need to do exactly the same at the top. One times two is two, and three times two is six. So the equivalent fraction would be two sixths. Now you can pause the video, try to figure them out, try to solve it by yourself, and then play again to check your answers. Okay, let's go ahead. So in this case, three is smaller than 21. That means we need to do a division. A number that multiplied by 3 gives you the 21 is 7. 3 times 7 is 21, then 21 divided by, by 7 is 3. So we do the same at the top. 14 divided by 7 is 2. In this case, from 5 to get the 15, we multiply by 3. So same operation at the top. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 fifths is equivalent to 6 fifteenths. In this one, notice that the denominator is already 49. So there's nothing that we should do. The only equivalent that we are going to have is having exactly the same number at the top. No operations, or if you want to see it that way, is multiplying by 1. So you are going to get just exactly the same, um, the same equivalent fraction. In this one, 4 times something is 100. Uh, this one is a very useful multiplication that you should remember. 4 times 25 is 100. So you are going to have to do the same at the top. 25 plus 25 is 50, and 50 plus 25 is 75. So 3 times 25 is 75. 
And finally, from 20 to 4, we would have to do a division. Division by 5. By 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Excellent. 5 twentieths is equivalent to 1 fourth. Okay, guys. Hope that helps helps you to understand. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Book your lessons if you want. I'll leave you the link in the description. And let me your questions in the in the comment box. Bye-bye, guys. See you next time.